Welcome guys, welcome to the yet another exciting video and in this video we are going to look at mouse cases or is it called a case or case it's going to be a young audience in my beans or young cook your case or case yeah so we're going to look at mouse cases or excel cases now before we go on I want to explain what a case is and I'll show you what a case is the case is basically a a point a mouse a screen but it's called a case okay illustration of what a case is is like if you go back to primary school the teacher will have that ruler pointing per board what is this class and then you shout the letter they so that ruler on its own acts like a pointer, which is on a case. In this case, on the computer, we we'll call that a case or a pointer. It shows you your main focus or where you're focused at. If you're pointing using your finger, pointing to a certain direction, you pointing there acts like a case. All right. So that's what a case is it just shows you where you're interacting on the screen or where you're putting your focus on the screen like right now my focus is now on e because that's where my case is okay so that's what we're looking at and in this video there are nine cases that we're going to look at nine of them i want you to take note the first three cases we're going to look at are found everywhere around the computer but the last six that we look at these are only unique to excel you only find them in excel so remember we're going to look at nine the first three that i'll show you these are not unique you can find them on the windows you can find them on other office suit you can find them anywhere else on the computer program but the six the other six these are unique to excel so we're going to start with the first one, this what we call the standard case. Okay. So by default, this is the case that you see. This is the case that you saw earlier on my desktop page. So this case is used by default. And when you're pointing at buttons on the ribbon. So if I'm pointing at the buttons on the ribbon, you see that it's a normal case. Then let me just write one word there. All right, real. There's so many words we can write. You can write Mutinta, you can write Mainza, you can write Shibego, you can write Chansa, Mwansa, any names. This is demo sex, so we'll stick to real. So, the second one is what we call the I beam. Okay? It appears when you're pointing to an editable text or text box that you can type into. Now, if I go into the formula bar right here, if you notice, you will see a case of a change. Kumamba on the ribbon, it's changed. But here, we call that the I beam because that's the I case. It's like an I, so it's called the I beam. And then you can also find the I beam inside the Excel, the cell of the where there's real inside. And you can type in anything after. So that is what we call the I beam. The next case that we're going to look at is if I click where there's real inside there and then I come on the margin, you'll find that it appears more or less like stars. Okay? There are stars that are appearing there. We call that the move icon. So if you click and drag there, it will drag that real option. So if I drag it all the way to here, it has moved. So we call that the move case. Okay. Then I'm sure every time you're on each cell, you see that a box, more like cross. Okay. That that cross is called the box cross. Okay. So it appears when you're pointing at the cell on the spreadsheet, and then you can click 
on the cell to highlight it and then when you click and drag like that you highlight many other different cells so that one is called the box cross and then if I click on the cell on the bottom right corner is that big red dot right there it's a square there if you go there you find that the case changes okay it has a black cross there if you notice okay that one is called the fill handle why do we call it the fill handle let me show you let me just click on the on the real app part now if I get the fuel handle case and drag it down it will fill everything with the, the text wheel if I drag it to the right to fill everything with the wheel other instances you can use this if I have one two three four numbers and then I highlight them if I drag that it automatically fills up okay it's the same with a b c d remember you can drag that using the box cross and then using the fill handle i can fill <clears throat> okay then if i want using the move cursor i can move that to there okay then the other cursor that we have that you notice is if you want to select a cell you use the box cross Aqua box you can select only commas one one cell but if you what happens if you want to select the entire column you hover on top of the column there and when you click on that column it selects or highlights everything in that column the same will apply when you do it with the row so we call this so if you do that it selects the entire row so that is what we call the select column or select row case. Then the other one that we have is the resizer. So if you go in between the column cells, so let's say between C and D, we'll have what we call the resizer column. Okay. So you notice that the case has on top there has arrows in the sides there's one arrow to the left one arrow to the right so when you click on that you're able to resize that cell or column so i can expand c okay column c i can expand it all these spaces for column c i can reduce it so it becomes smaller the same will apply when you're doing the rows so you can expand them or resize them increasing on their size or you could reduce them so this is what we call the resize of column and rows so this is what we had today in this video just talking about different forms of cases the different types of cases remember the first three the standard the ibeam and the move these are not unique to excel you can find them anywhere any document any software anywhere else on the computer but the other six, the box cross, the fill handle, the select column or select row, the resize column and resize row, these are only unique to the Excel software. So these that the other six, you only find them in Excel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Just like Buzzard, this life, it's called draw, click, and let your dream be your wings. Buzzard is a cool and is a cool and a chill on to.